Hi, welcome to section three of the course where we're gonna be looking at how we can use MATLAB for science and engineering. So again, we'll talk a little bit about MATLAB first before we move into Simulink. So let's begin by talking about how we can enter commands in the MATLAB environment. All right, so we've talked about how to enter commands previously, but let's go over it again. So again, to enter a command in MATLAB, you have to do that in what's called the command window. Now, a couple of things that I want to mention about entering commands in MATLAB is that the syntax matters. So for example, I mentioned before that you can type Simulink in the command window, and that would pull the Simulink application, or in other words, it will launch the Simulink application. For example, so if I type here Simulink, we would expect that to launch the Simulink application. Now again, notice that I've mentioned that the syntax does matter in here, just like it would in any programming language. And notice that I typed here in uppercase. So if I type enter now, you can see that MATLAB gives me an error. It says, cannot find an exact case sensitive match for Simulink. The closest match is this. And then it says, did you mean this? So MATLAB kind of knows what you're trying to do. So when you enter something that doesn't exactly work, it tries to think, okay, maybe you meant to do this. And it tells you, did you mean this? So for example, here, I typed Simulink in uppercase, which again, is not a MATLAB command. MATLAB commands are in lowercase. So it tells me then that you mean Simulink in lowercase. So this is what I mean by the fact that the syntax matters, again, just like it would in any programming language. So uppercase, lowercase matters. And then one more thing that I wanna mention is that the commands that you enter, it matters whether or not you put a semicolon at the end of the command. So for example, let's say that I wanted to define a variable called x, and I want to set that variable equal to 2. So if I set x equals 2, and I actually type this in uppercase, so let me go back and type this in lowercase, so x equals 2, and if I don't enter a semicolon at the end, MATLAB is going to return the result in the command window. So I'm gonna hit enter and it says, okay, X equals two. Now notice what happens if I say X equals two semicolon, or actually let's do a different number so that we redefine the variable. So X equals three and then semicolon and enter. Notice that MATLAB didn't do anything here in the command window. Now, the variable did get redefined over here on the top right. We can see that it has a value of three, but we can see here in the command window that it didn't get, or rather MATLAB didn't give us the answer back. So that's an important point when you're typing commands in MATLAB. If you want MATLAB to give you the result in there, in the command window, then don't include a semicolon. If you include a semicolon, it still executes the command. It just doesn't show you the results. Now, this is typically important if you're defining vectors. So for example, let's say that I wanted to define a vector y, and I'm gonna say y goes from zero in intervals of one up to 100. So what this command is saying is I'm gonna define a vector that goes from zero to 100 in increments of one. So it's gonna be a vector that's gonna have values of zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 100. And so if I click enter here, you can see again here that it gets defined as a variable called y, and it's a one x 101 double, meaning it has 100 values in it. Now, if you don't type the semicolon, so let me go up, and let's get rid of the semicolon. Again, when you don't put the semicolon at the end of the command, MATLAB is gonna give you the answer after you hit enter. So if I hit enter now, then it tells me, okay, columns one through 100, these are the values. So it's important again, because you might be entering commands and you might not want to have MATLAB give you the result 
just yet, but you still want to execute the command. So make sure that you put a semicolon at the end in that case. So let me clear commands. Again, if you clear commands using this right here, that does not clear the workspace. So everything I entered prior is still saved behind the scenes. It's just that I cleared the command window. Now, one more thing that I want to show you about commands is that if you click the up arrow, you can see all the previous commands over here. So you can see previous one without a semicolon, previous one with a colon, or with a semicolon rather, and then all the previous commands. So this is helpful sometimes if you want to redo a command. So for example, let's say that I want to redefine that vector as 0 to 200 instead of 0 to 100. I can just click the up arrow and then just change whatever I need to change. So again, just click the up arrow in your keyboard and that's going to bring up the previous commands. All right, so very straightforward. Entering commands in MATLAB is pretty straightforward. You just type it here in the command window. Again, there's different functions that we're going to talk about in later lectures, but just entering commands is pretty straightforward. You just type them in the command window.